Good day everybody, so today we will talk all about the American colonization time in the Philippines. So, Question number one, what were the events that brought the Americans to the Philippines? Actually, from 1898 to 1946, the Philippines history began with the outbreak of the Spanish-American War in April 1898, when the Philippines was still a Spanish East Indies colony and ended when the United States formally recognized the Republic of the Philippines' independence on July 4, 1946. Question number two. What was the Treaty of Paris and what was its role in the incorporation of Mindanao and Sulu into the former colony of Spain? The Treaty of Paris marked the end of the Spanish Empire and was able to comprehend the archipelago. However, the U.S. acquired Mindanao and Sulu through con conquest or act of war as they were not included in the territories ceded by Spain. Question number three. What were the various stages of the American occupation in Moylan and how distinct the American policies were in each of the stages? And my answer is, the main objective of the U.S. occupation was to promote democracy and eliminate the influence of the military in the Japanese government. Therefore, American advocated annexation events a variety of motivations since they desired for commercial opportunities in Asia and were concerned that the Filipinos were incapable of self-rule and fair that they did not take control of the islands or another power such as Germany or Japan might do so. And for the last question, and for the last question, how did American policy or practice contribute to the present Mindanao problem? So, the moral struggle was aided by three components of U.S. colonial rule. First is the demograph demographic labeling and classification. Second is discriminatory sections of public land laws. And third is the resettlement of initiatives. Those are all and thank you.